नमस्ते टू एवरीवन नमस्ते कुमार भैया गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन सो वी हैड स्टार्टेड डिस्कशन ऑन स्टेप 5 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 1 एंड कीपिंग द असाइनमेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस वी हैड डिस्कस यस्टरडे एंड दिस इज द असाइनमेंट दैट वी टुक यस्टरडे ऑब्जर्व योर फीलिंग व्हेन समवन मिसबिहेव्स विद यू disturbs or irritates you how often sorry how have you decided your feeling towards this person is your feeling based on right understanding or on an assumption in the lack of understanding try to see what you may have assumed that led to this feeling are you comfortable or uncomfortable with him with this feeling if if uncomfortable how long does this discomfort last note down your observation so we are doing a five or five one in exercise one we are trying to observe ourselves that is the self is observing the self that is the consciousness is observing the consciousness and we are doing this whole exercise observing the feeling in step one we try to observe the imagination in particular the feeling without any evaluation without any judgment without any reaction just observed as it is and in step 2 then we went to see if the feeling inside me is naturally acceptable to me or not that is whether i want a continuity of it or not that is whether it is in accordance with human nature or not in step 3 we looked at the state of being whether i am comfortable inside or not whether i'm happy i'm in harmony or not now having observed all this we try to make out who is responsible for the feeling or the state of being that i am in is it me or somebody else so who is deciding my feeling me or somebody else or the situation outside and with little exploration we could see that it is ultimately me who is deciding the feeling not some other person not the situation outside now in step 5 we are trying to observe the basis for the decision that we have made on what basis did i decide this feeling is it my right understanding or is it some assumption of mine so is it right understanding or some assumption this is what we are trying to see so going through this we can make out a lot of assumption that we are carrying within and for that purpose only we are trying to look into various situations when i'm sitting by myself and interacting with others and somebody is disagreeing over the point i have made or when somebody is trying to irritate me disturb me all those situations ultimately i can look into my feeling okay and i can look into how this feeling got some what initiated in me how i got irritated okay maybe i am sitting in my room somebody is talking about me okay and i come to hear those words and i start feeling uncomfortable i start feeling disturbed i start feeling irritated now ultimately if i can see that i am the one who decided this feeling and i can also make out what is the assumption that i am carrying within so doing this step you can see a lot of assumptions inside there are so many things that you have assumed about myself about the other and many times you see that our life is made up of do's and don'ts should and shouldn'ts when things don't go the way we have decided in terms of do's and don'ts should and shouldn't then we feel disturbed that that should not be doing like this that that should be doing like this i should be doing this i should not be doing this okay we have prescribed so many things for ourselves as well as the other and these are all based on assumptions these basically make our assumptions if i am not clear about the reality if i am not clear about human being if i am not clear about self body if i am not clear about the need for physical facilities if i am not clear about the feelings which ensure mutual happiness in our relationships if i am not clear about our role in the society 
know, we are not clear about what nature is made up of, what all units are there in nature, and how they are different. All those things are not clear to me. I'm not clear about space. But since I have to live with them, so I come to assume something. And the way I assume, I decide my feeling. And that's why you'll say that, see that in the same situation, one person is getting irritated, one person is calm, one person is laughing at it. Same situation. Why? Because assumptions are different. You can observe for yourself also. For the same situation, if it is early morning, you react in one manner. If it is daytime, you, re you may react in some other manner. If it is you know, some other time of the day, you may react in some other manner. So, if I have to live with some entity, I have to assume something about the entity. And I may not be clear about that assumption also. At the core, I'm not clear about the consciousness. I'm not clear about the material. I'm not clear about the space. And I'm also not clear about my role in this existence. So maybe the right understanding is missing. And that's how I have come to assume. So you start observing this and you see a lot of assumptions. So long as I'm not able to see the reality, I will assume something about the reality. And it's a matter of coincidence that my assumption is in line with my natural acceptance. It may or may not be in line also with my natural acceptance. So going by step five, I get exposed to my son's scars, the deep rooted assumptions about me, my life, happiness, prosperity, my relationships, all. So we have to keep on observing this. I have to find out whether my feeling is based on right understanding or an assumption with the lack of right understanding. So if you see, we started listing such situations which make us uncomfortable in step two, in step three. And then now here we can observe in all those situations, it makes us uncomfortable. What is the assumption underlying that? That is making me uncomfortable. Yeah. So if you have done this assignment yesterday, you can begin with your sharing on the assignment. So what we can do, if we have certain other things to discuss, we will of course discuss, but let us start our sharing or questions from the assignment that we have taken. <clears throat> so let me just ask you, did you feel disturbed yesterday because of some reason or the other? What will you say? Did you feel disturbed yesterday? You can respond in the chat box. Nice. Now, if you look at it, if you felt disturbed yesterday, <clears throat> then you can also see what disturbed you. So I can see that I got disturbed yesterday, and this is quite possible. You can also see what disturbed you. <clears throat> okay. What was going on inside you? When you were disturbed. And in that moment, what was the assumption that you were carrying within? Try to look into that. So, what we'll do, we'll observe this for 10 minutes. We'll have a look at our life yesterday and try to find out whether I felt disturbed, whether I felt irritated, somehow or the other. And then also look into the assumption that disturbed me, that made me to decide this feeling for disturbance, that triggered that kind of feeling in me. So we'll observe for 10 minutes and then we'll share, we'll discuss. Nice. <laughs>
so we can keep observing this we can take a note of all those moments when you feel disturbed when you feel irritated when you feel angry when you feel opposed and then we can look into the underlying assumption that is making me feel uncomfortable if you have any reflection you can raise your hand and share bhaiya ji good morning uh, last week in our institution we are uh, conducting one self funded workshop bhaiya so during this uh, uh, tutorial session so i will be the mentor for one of the session so in this uh, tutorial session one of my colleague uh, should be give the feedback so how the this yogic session is uh, extended for up to 5:30 so why you close uh, up to 4:30 so i uh, explain so this is a valuable session for this entire day so again again i explain but the my colleague is not convinced with the words so at one point i will be triggered to anger so i told uh, sir you don't uh, uh, you don't uh, wrongly direct to the other person so just if you want to stay otherwise you take it your own decision immediately so he is went out from the hall so my intention is uh, he is not demotivated to other so then only i cut off and i will be anger to the particular person so is is correct or how can handle this situation bhaiya see handling the situation is one thing if a person is insisting like this i will not feel irritated i can see the problem with the other i can see that the other might be used to going back home by 4:30 and now then if he has he has to sit up to 5:30 it is making him uncomfortable so first thing that i can observe is this person is uncomfortable this person yes, is irritated angry and that's how he is behaving like this okay okay now i i will try to see how i can help the other understand mm -hmm. okay, so for that i have to look into my own feeling i have to look into the reason for which i am asking him to stay up to 5:30 and maybe at times this is not clear sometimes somebody is raising some question and i am not clear about that so at okay. that point also one may feel disturbed that how to explain to this person it is not clear to me at this point of time how i can explain in brief to him then yeah, one may feel disturbed okay but if i have the feeling of relationship then with mm -hmm. the feeling of relationship i can always make out that way to explain to him mm -hmm. okay. so first thing that i can observe that his intention is fine but mm -hmm. he is uncomfortable inside and that's how you know, he is behaving like this and of course i will make sure that the assumption with which he wants to leave the session mm -hmm. that does not disturb all other all other participants in the workshop so i can ask yeah. him that if yeah. you want to go the way you did was fine if you want to go okay. you go but don't mm -hmm. ask the others to go mm -hmm. generally when people come for the workshop there would be some people who feel irritated who feel quite uncomfortable right mm -hmm. it could be also because of the sitting arrangement on the floor it could be because they have not been exposed to such content in technical education it mm -hmm. could be because they were forced to come for the workshop for which they were not ready earlier there could be so many reasons people are not able to see the need for right understanding isn't yes, it yes 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 yeah. yes mm -hmm. so that could be there so, so i can see the discomfort of the other i can empathize with the other and with that i can help the other you know, understand Okay, okay. Particularly with LPC, this become a major issue because they have to handle all these things. Definitely. And with observer yeah. also, yeah, with observer mm -hmm. also. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Nice, boy. So, okay. So, okay, boy. Better. Uh, we have to direct uh, connect the particular persons, and uh, we we I understand. Uh, so that person only discomfort with this session. See the mechanism you can derive. <clears throat> like before uh, organizing the workshop also we have a list of such issues you know which might we have to, which we might have to face okay. so we can see if somebody insisting for this or that then what to do maybe somebody has come he has not got a comfortable room and that is making him uncomfortable now that discomfort is coming out in the workshop 
he went okay. to the washroom in the morning and the tap is not running and he became angry and that anger he is carrying to the workshop so all those things could be there okay, okay. so mechanism is up to you you can decide but the feeling of relationship needs to ensure if that is ensured in me then you know i can communicate to the other okay if okay. that is not ensured then that is the problem yeah okay. See, we have to look at the bigger picture if i forcefully make someone sit for the workshop you know, and listen to the workshop but he feels repelled to the workshop then that is also not going to solve the problem so i have to get the bigger picture that ultimately we are working for ensuring harmony right yes try to counsel the other and before the workshop starts we can explain all the rules and regulations okay okay if you want okay. if you insist you can go but you will not get the certificate so in place of forcing someone we can share our codes of conduct for the workshop ओकेस्टेडिंग but on yesterday what happened uh, uh, the rice was cooked actually it was not overcooked and he is refused to take the food because it is not overcooked uh, uh, he is saying that it is not at all cooked i am unable to take like that he was arguing i was uh, making him understand that it is cooked it is okay he is saying that he, it will not be digested and he is uh, uh, uncomfortable and uh, after explaining all these things uh, i got irritated sir uh, he is not he is not understanding anything like this type of situation many things happened in uh, during these uh, days uh, but uh, how to make him understand he is not at all uh, uh, listening sir he just says that don't say anything like that he he is saying so on that time i get it to be overcooked he wants it to be overcooked because he is assuming like it will not be digested okay so what you can do you can overcook for once share it with him uh, and then uh, you can take the help of someone who can guide about the quality of food to be given to him after the operation yes sir because if you put on one side he will be insisting for something else and then that will create a kind of tussle so better than that you serve to him what he is asking for for once and then let him get the counseling from someone Yes, sir. We are giving it actually the overcooked food only from past of ten uh, days. Yesterday, only one time it was like that. He is okay. unable to take it. He wants it to be like that only. It should be like that only. When he says it is not only for this food, sir. He if he says anything, he will no. He will not be uh, listening to the person who is saying against to it or anything for uh, other than that. he says don't don't say anything stop like that he will be saying <laughs> yeah see yeah, first of all he uh, is old and then he has got operated he is not healthy also so he might be feeling irritated inside that is something we can appreciate that you know, he what kind of situation he is in we can at least accept and okay. then uh, with that feeling we can go by his words okay and okay. maybe sometime later when he is comfortable he is talking to you comfortably then you can explain okay okay so for time being you can just give what he is asking for right provided okay. it is not going to harm him right? yes sir just provide and then when he is comfortable then you can discuss with him sometime later when we are able to enter into a dialogue that we were offering okay. only that what was suitable for your health but you got irritated so we did that but you just have a look at it okay sir. okay sir. when he we, we, the acidity problem is more uh, during these times uh, and uh, if we say uh, doctors and nurses everybody says that it is all right uh, it will be gradually it will be okay like that he is feeling like nobody is uh, uh, addressing this issues and uh, nobody is caring like that uh, he was uh, uh, scolding and again and again uh, my uh, uh, nurses uh, uh, known to me that person came and uh, he raised his voice 
we are saying no why do why are you not understanding like that and all he scolded after that he uh, he kept quiet sir <laughs> in the old days particularly when the person is sick this kind of behavior is uh, quite visible that is there so okay. we have to understand his situation also and okay. see what can be done you know, for him to make him comfortable okay okay see, never somebody is disturbing you right you can just observe whether this person himself is disturbed inside or not so if the other person is disturbed then he will not act uh, in a with a definite conduct that is quite sure because mm-hmm. he himself is disturbed irritated so he will do something or the other which is going to lead to disharmony so we are very much prepared for that okay okay maharaj ji namaste bhaiya namaste namaste to all uh whenever there is a situation like where i am misbehaved or i get irritated or uh disturbed feel disturbed so in those cases uh nowadays i am having less reaction compared to the previous uh time uh, and now i have read other uh, gurus uh, religious gurus and uh, i have learned that yes this type of situation is required in the development of the self so that you can use that situation not enjoy that situation or you don't participate in that uh, situation so that way i am trying to develop see that yes this is the opportunity when i can develop my self so that was something i had to tell you thank you nice bhaiya nice so good sharing here so we are able to see in step 4 that it is i the self who is deciding the feeling that i have at this moment now i am trying to find out the basis on which i decide my feeling my thought so what is the basis on which i decide my feeling the thought is it right understanding or assumption in the absence of right understanding when i decide my feeling thought on the base of right understanding i am able to decide in favor of a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me it means that is natural and I, and then i remain comfortable in harmony in a state of happiness within when i decide my feeling thought on the base of assumption from preconditioning it is not definite which feeling i decide for a feeling which is naturally acceptable to me or an otherwise feeling my state is indefinite sometimes comfortable sometimes uncomfortable in harmony or in contradiction in a state of happiness or unhappiness there in me which i can observe very much so from this i can see the need for right understanding and the need for deciding my feeling thought on the basis of right understanding independent of whether everything outside is fine or not fine so i can see very much that ultimately i am deciding my feeling and i am getting disturbed i am unhappy i am responsible for my unhappiness and my happiness can be ensured only when i have the right understanding so i very naturally decide for ensuring the right understanding and i can see that this is my program every moment even if someone is not there but i start thinking about that person i start feeling disturbed why because the feeling is not ensured in me why because the right understanding is not ensured in me and then i have so many contradictions in me so many perturbations in me so ultimately i can see that it is my responsibility to ensure right understanding and i start working for it okay now it is not a kind of uh thing which i have to do in spare time it is my prime task i can see very clearly that only right understanding is going to ensure happiness in me if i am carried by assumptions whatsoever be the accumulation of physical facilities with me whatsoever be the people around me you know the number of people around me the name and fame that i have earned but if i am not comfortable within if i am not happy if i get disturbed irritated angry then am i doing the right thing 
we might also have to observe that if I work for right understanding, rest everything will fall in line. Generally, we feel that if I start working for right understanding, then I will not be take, able to take care of so many responsibilities. I will not be able to work on the post that I am holding. I will not be able to fulfill the roles that I am into. These doubts might also be there. These are also many assumptions that I am carrying within. So I have to be you know, uh, a little more observant about the need for right understanding. Is it so that if I understand rightly, I will not be able to fulfill all these responsibilities? Many times people feel like that. If I get into self-exploration, if I get into understanding everything, then can I earn for my family? Can I fulfill my role in the society? So those doubts might be there inside. And that's why so many fears might be there inside. So as I become more serious about ensuring right understanding, those all fears, doubts start surfacing out. Okay. I may also feel that why should I ensure right understanding in completeness? Is it really you know, needed? You know, or the life is just going on? Only that little bit of problems are there and we have to sort them out. So you'll see that many times we are also not able to see clearly the need for right understanding. But if I become more serious about ensuring happiness within, you know, whatsoever with the situation outside, I can clearly see the need for it. So try to make it out. Are we able to see the need for right understanding in completeness? Or we are just trying to come out of the problems that we are facing. This is another major shift that we might have to take. So it so happens that in our day-to-day -day life, we feel disturbed on certain occasions. And then we try to resolve that. We try to come out of those situations which are unpleasant, unfavorable. And we feel that, yes, now life is going on smoothly, only that these things have to be avoided. So I'm not able to see clearly the need for attention standing in me. And that also in completeness. So I'm not able to feel you know, committed for ensuring the right understanding also. So try to make this also, make out this also. Ji, brother, namaste. My voice is coming. Ji, is coming. Ji, brother, in these uh, uh, two weeks, I observe my feelings. And uh, I found that uh, when I was uh, anger or when I was happy, uh, at that time, uh, why I am happy and why I am anger, these feelings I can see. So uh, um, the shift is that uh, whenever why I am going to angry at that time, uh, that is on the basis of uh, uh, maybe uh, some uh, um, uh, something uh, which is in mind. But I again uh, conveying, uh, convincing to myself also why you are going to angry. And then uh, on that basis, my anger is automatically diluting. And uh, for the um, happiness also, again, uh, I'm coming in the uh, same mood. Uh, is that, Bhaya, it is the way to um, go for develop the right understanding? Ji, Bhaya. This may help. This may help. Now, when you try to see why I'm getting angry, and try to see clearly. Ji, Bhaya. All, do I want to get angry or not? If at all I'm getting angry, you know, then why I'm getting angry? What is the junction that I'm carrying within? And G then I see that whenever I get angry, I am unhappy. So I need to resolve myself. I need to evaluate all those assumptions which make me angry. Ji, bhaiya. I'm trying it. So uh, automatically my angerness is diluting. Ji, bhaiya. This shift Ji, is, uh, I'm going to observe it. Yes. Ji, bhaiya. Ji. Thank you, Vaya. Ji, Namaste. Namaste. So, we all have to make it out for ourselves that can I see the need for right understanding and that also in completeness? Do I really aspire for being happy in continuity? Because if I have to be happy in continuity, then I will have to ensure right understanding in completeness. So, many times we'll see that 
if life is just going on smoothly, they are not able to see clearly the need for right understanding. Okay, because the situations are favorable outside, so there is no such major disturbance inside, and she feel like the life is sailing through now uh, very smoothly. Why to create all such things unnecessarily in my life? We might also carry some apprehension that I start working for right understanding, then maybe uh, I will not be able to fulfill my responsibilities adequately. So those apprehensions might also be there. We can note down that also. Those also might be some assumption that we might be carrying within. So look into this. You know. Now look into the feeling every moment and try to see that if at all I'm getting disturbed, I'm uncomfortable, I have some feeling which is not acceptable to me naturally, then what is my program? Will I ignore it? Because generally this happens. We ignore because the life is still sailing through properly. And no major disturbance is there, or I will look at, I will take a serious note of it, and I will start working to resolve myself. So as we go through self exploration, we see that in the beginning, we make a lot of effort, we get serious about resolving ourselves. After some time, we enter into a goody goody state that yes, things are not comfortable. I'm not reacting also. I'm not getting angry also to that extent. Okay, I'm not running after money also. Right? I'm not disturbed by you know the feeling of competition also. So okay, it's life is okay. You know, this much is enough for this journey of life. These possibilities are also there. So a kind of what we can say a convalescence state, a kind of state in which. I try to satisfy myself by the state of being. So try to find it out. All of us who have been exploring for quite some time, we have to make out clearly that am I entering into that state of agreement with the current state of the self or are we able to see the need for right understanding completeness? Fine. So I can see the need for right understanding and the need for deciding my feeling thought on the basis of right understanding independent of whether everything outside is fine or not fine. G. Nice, Bia. Can you go to the next slide? So let us take the example of my feeling towards some other human being. If I have right understanding about human-human relationship, that is, I have understood the human being, I have understood myself as a human being, the other as a human being, then I will have the feeling of relationship for everyone. This feeling is naturally acceptable to me. <clears throat> and with this feeling, I am in a state of harmony and happiness. When I decide my feeling, thought on the basis of right understanding, I am able to decide in favor of a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me, that is natural. I remain comfortable in harmony, in a state of happiness within. So, like we were trying to pick examples from our own life, the day that we spent yesterday, right? So, we have interacted with human beings and in our interaction, we might have got uncomfortable. We might have been thinking about some human being and we might have got uncomfortable. So, all those possibilities are there. Okay. And I can again see, see the question that I was asking in the beginning that, did you feel irritated or uncomfortable yesterday, right? Now, if you look very closely, you see that unless I have right understanding in completeness, we are never comfortable in completeness. This is also something that you can see. As you start digging out, you can see issues of discomfort. So maybe on the surface, we are able to see that, yes, things are settled. But as I start digging out, since the right understanding is not ensured in completeness, I can see so many issues disturbing me. The moment they come to our imagination, we start feeling somewhat uncomfortable or irritated or opposed or reactive. Those possibilities are quite there. So I have to be with myself. I have to observe my feeling. I have to evaluate my feeling. I have to decide my responsibility. And then I also have to see whether I you know, 
I am ready to ensure pattern scanning in completeness. Right. Now this may open up multiple other questions. Can I ensure pattern scanning in completeness? Living in a city with my family, going on a job, you know, fulfilling all the responsibilities. These all questions are still open. So I'll have to explore into all those issues also. Can we go to the next slide, Dia? On the other hand, if I do not have right understanding about human human relationship, that is, I have not understood the human being, I have not understood myself as a human being the other as a human being. Then I'll go by some assumption about human being, about myself, about the other. Therefore, my feeling <clears throat> will depend upon my assumptions. Suppose I assume that human being has to be evaluated on the basis of sect or class. Then I may have feeling of relationship for one belonging to my sect or class, a natural feeling leading to happiness, and feeling of position for one belonging to a different sect or class which is an unnatural feeling leading to unhappiness. So when I'm differentiating, and if the expectation of differentiation is being met, I am with the person whom I consider as my own, then I feel one way. If I consider this person as not my own, I feel some other way. And we can see that we might be differentiating on so many grounds inside. This is one major assumption about relationship. When I try to evaluate the other on the basis of physical facility, body, sex, or some other assumptions, right? Then whenever I try to relate to the other, it becomes a hindrance. I'm not able to see the relation of self and self. And <clears throat> the relationship is never fulfilling. It may only be the case that I assume myself to be superior, the other assumes oneself to be inferior, so we are not fighting with each other. But that assumption itself is the root of so many problems. Today he is considering himself to be inferior. Tomorrow he may not consider. And then there is going to be struggle. So when I decide my feeling, thought, on the basis of assumption or preconditioning, it is not definite which feeling I will decide for. A feeling that is naturally acceptable to me or a feeling that is otherwise not acceptable naturally. So my state remains indefinite. Sometimes comfortable, sometimes uncomfortable, sometimes in harmony, sometimes in contradiction, sometimes happiness, sometimes unhappiness. And this kind of fluctuation goes on. Isn't it? You'll see that now that we are into self-exploration, <clears throat> we are becoming so serious about happiness. We are becoming so serious about relationship. Otherwise, if you talk to the people in society in general, they have a common notion that Happiness is never possible in continuity. Okay, you are always going to be dictated by others for your state of being. How can you be, you know, simply unaffected by that? And as you try to discuss, they will say that what you are saying is a very ideal state. This is not possible. You know, this is only possible with some revered people in the tradition and so many things. Right. A very good thing is that we have become serious about happiness. We have become serious about self-exploration. We have become serious about our development. We have become serious about ensuring right understanding. And now we have to become serious about ensuring right understanding and completeness. We have been able to get rid of so many things that we were earlier caught up in. But that is not complete. That is not still done in completeness. Because so many things remain. So at step five, I am able to see that, yes, I need to understand so that my feeling every moment is naturally acceptable to me. Whatever I was observing till now was only the tip of the iceberg. Okay. A major chunk of my problems are there inside. So if you try to sit by yourself for a day or two, right, and just observe, <clears throat> you can see a whole lot of assumptions that you might be carrying within a whole lot of sources of discomfort, irritation, anger inside you. I mean, it might be unresolved, isn't it? So essentially, 
I have to be comfortable with myself. Essentially, I have to ensure the source of happiness inside. Isn't it? And the more you are able to make effort for it, it also authenticates in your, in your living. The roles that you are going to fulfill, you are able to do it in a much better way, in a much effective, efficient, fulfilling manner. So we are able to play a better role in the society. Isn't it? We can observe that those of us who are into this process of self-exploration, many of us are holding some senior positions in the organization. And the way we are managing our units, the way we are managing the organization, okay, it is something different from how others have been doing it. Sometimes people give you feedback also about this. Sometimes you may not be getting feedback, but people are able to see the difference. If you are never getting angry, never shouting others, never differentiating, never getting opposed to the other, never trying to do anything with a feeling of vengeance. Okay, this is all quite visible. And gradually we are developing a new culture <clears throat> in the society you know, of harmonious living, management through relationship, you know, clarity about prosperity, clarity about happiness, right priority of right understanding in our life. So uh, gradually a culture is being set. And the way the workshops are being conducted, the way more and more people are joining in the workshops, more and more students are joining the courses, in 10 to 20 years, you can see difference coming up in the society. If I look 15 years back, it was something new to the society. What is value education? Can values be taught? Should they be taught? Do we need to conduct examinations in human values courses? And, uh, is value education only learning by rote? If you try to teach in the classes, they will only learn by rote. And uh, how will you transform them? All those issues were being discussed. Now people have come to accept it. Yes, this can be taught, this can be discussed, this can have a syllabus and a course. Faculty can be developed. And now people have higher expectations. Okay, now people are expecting us to be complete. Is that true? You can respond in the chat box. Now, wherever we are working, people are expecting us to be complete. They want to see completeness of right understanding. They want to see completeness of human conduct. So in some sense, this is good. We have raised the expectation of others. That is good. And we also have to work within. Okay, Not to fulfill their expectations, but to ensure happiness in continuity, to ensure a fulfilling life in continuity. Nice. If you have any question or any sharing, you may raise your hand. Charge is saying what is complete? Complete means completeness of right understanding, completeness of human conduct. Like we said, uh, it's about the surface kind of thing when we say we are harmonious within. And you said uh, when you look yesterday throughout the day. So uh, slowly, way I could see that though it was not a very good means very high disturbance or high level of disturbance, but like when even uh, driving, say you know, someone is um, crossing me with a high speed or say not giving the side like that, it it may not be expressed outside, but there is some kind of irritation. So similarly, many situations like. Um, my father is quite old and sometimes he asks uh, one thing twice right? uh, means he expects to sit and listen same thing uh, again and again so uh, it may not be expressed but uh, there are some kind of this feelings which is not naturally acceptable to me within that moment so that thing happens but Gradually, they are uh, being settled when uh, these verifications are going on. Let's, let's say uh, step one, two, three, four. So it it uh, stabilizes and uh, slowly I'm able to overcome on all those situations. And uh, you are also you have said very rightly that expectation is getting higher and higher every day. That yes, uh, 
your behavior outside or uh, your conduct uh, need to be definite in many sense. So, yes, we are very true. Thank you. Nice, Bhaiya. There's another kind of issue that I have come across. People sitting on the top feel that now that human values course has been implemented, so there should be no problem at all. The students should have definite conduct. Teachers should have definite conduct. Okay. And there should be all issues resolved just because one course is introduced. So I have to sometimes tell that we have just introduced one course, you know, but we have to keep on working for it. It's not that once I have seen a doctor, I'm not going to be unhealthy ever. You know? So we have to keep on working for it. It's not that if we have set up a hospital in the colony, now the whole you know, society in the colony is going to be healthy. It's not like that. So we have to keep on working for that. Okay, we have to make it more effective. So people may have such expectations and it's also visible that those people have such expectations who themselves are not into self-exploration. They assume that they are the right person. They Whatever they are doing is right. Okay, and then you they feel that you have to now set everything right. Okay. They themselves may not come to the workshop but expect so many things from you. So those all possibilities also might be there. So nice. For myself, I have to make out whether I'm able to see the need for right understanding in completeness or not. Okay. And in that process, you can list out all the assumptions that you are carrying within, which make you unhappy, which make you irritated, uncomfortable, anxious, angry, all those things. You know? Try to see. Try to see the feeling. We have to start from state one. And gradually come to step five, gradually go to step seven also. But that observation has to be you know, very sharp inside. Am I ignoring certain moments? You'll see that when you go to observe your feeling, okay, you observe few critical moments and you ignore the rest. But if you ob try to observe every moment, you can see your feeling every moment. And you can see that I was just ignoring this thing. It was there in me. Okay, and I am also trying to hasten to reach to a state which I can call as comfortable, which is not required. We are into the process. This process itself is the journey for you know, ensuring happiness within. The more uh, sincerity and seriousness with which I enter this process without fixing the outcome, it will help me develop better. So I need not ignore any moment. I need not ignore any feeling inside me. I have to keep on observing it. Okay. And I have to go through these steps without trying to conclude at the very outset that I am a nice person or I am a bad person. Not like that. Just observe the feeling and then go through these steps without ignoring your feeling for a single moment. For that, it might still require some rigor in your observation some more sincere effort in your observation. So fine, we'll continue with this. It is time now, so we conclude here. Ji, so uh, thank you so much, Kumar Bhaiya, for giving all the inputs, which is helpful for our self-exploration. Thank you so much, Bhaiya. Thank you to all the co-explorers for being a part of this English part of the morning session and putting your reflections, questions, which is also useful for many of us.